Hi super funners, today we are looking at hoofed animals. There will be the cake buffalo, hippopotamus, wild boar, giraffes, a dromedary camel, zebras, rhinoceros all at my watering hole the Cape buffalo is the only species of wild cattle found in Africa it has a large head broad chest and strong legs the body is covered with hair that can be brownish to black in color it is also known as the African or the forest or savannah buffalo African buffaloes live in large herds in the sub-Saharan parts of Africa. But living in a herd means animals know the best feeding areas and sources of water. Besides that, they are protected against the predators. When faced with predators, animals of the herd form a circle around the young, old or weak animals, exposing their large and sharp horns towards the predators. They do rely on water, so where they live must receive 10 inches of rain per year or more. Ah, the hippopotamus. It is the third largest land animal after the elephant and white rhinoceros and are found in Africa. A hippopotamus likes to spend a large amount of time in the water to cool off. They have a barrel shaped body, short legs and a huge mouth. Hippos can run fast and can be extremely aggressive, especially if they feel threatened and they are considered to be in the top 10 most dangerous animals in Africa. The male is called a bull, the female a cow and the baby is a calf. Here's the baby. Wild boar. The wild boar is a close relative of domestic pigs and likes to live in forests. Their body is covered with a double coat of fur. The upper coat is made of harsh bristly hair and the undercoat is much softer. Tusks on the bottom lip are one of the most prominent features of a wild boar. Males use their tusks for fighting during the mating season. The wild boar has a long rubbery snout that is used for digging underground roots and bulbs. Wild boar is an omnivore feeding mainly on seeds, fruit, leaves, berries, eggs, mice, lizards, worms and snakes. Wild boars are nocturnal animals. They will sleep for 12 hours during the day hidden in a nest made of leaves. Giraffe. The distinctive patterns on a giraffe's fur helps camouflage it and protect it from predators. The giraffe blends in with the trees and bushes as its fur blends in with the shadows and sunlight. Male giraffes sometimes fight each other over a mate by swinging their necks and heads at each other. This is called necking. They are the world's tallest living land animals. An adult male can grow to around five and a half meters tall. That's about three adult humans. For giraffes, drinking is one of the most dangerous times as it cannot keep an eye out for predators and is vulnerable to attack. Giraffes are found in the dry savannas of Africa where they roam among the open plains and woodlands. Being tall is helpful for keeping a lookout for predators such as lions and hyenas. Their excellent eyesight allows them to spot hungry beasts from far away. 
Giraffes are herbivores, their favourite food is the acacia tree and they use their long necks to reach the leaves and buds in the treetops. They use their long tongues to help pull down leaves that are growing way up high. Giraffes live in groups called towers, led by an adult male. They get most of their water from their leafy meals and only need to drink once every few days. Female giraffes give birth standing up. The baby giraffes are quick to get on their feet within 30 minutes they are standing and only hours later they are able to run with their mothers. This is a dromedary camel. It has a single hump. The hump contains fatty tissue reserves which can be converted to water or energy when required. They can survive up to six months without food or water by using up these fatty stores. A large camel can drink around 30 gallons or 113 litres in just 13 minutes, making them able to rehydrate faster than any other mammal. Camels are well suited to the hot sandy desert they roam in. Their thick coat insulates them from the heat and also lightens during summer to help reflect heat. Long eyelashes, ear hair and closable nostrils keep sand from affecting the camel while their wide feet help them move without sinking into the sand. Zebras are members of the horse family. They make a loud barking or braying sound. Every zebra has a unique pattern of black and white stripes, which helps with camouflage. When zebras are grouped together, their stripes make it hard for a lion or leopard to pick out one zebra to chase. A zebra's tail is around half a metre or 18 inches long. They sleep standing up and mostly eat grass and leaves. Wild zebras live in Africa. Zebras are part of the equity family, along with horses and donkeys. When chased, zebras run from side to side to try and confuse the predator. The ears of a zebra show its mood and they have excellent eyesight and hearing. Rhinoceros. The two African species of rhinos have two horns made from a protein called keratin, the same substance that fingernails and hair are made of. Rhinos use their horns not only in battles for territory or females, but also to defend themselves from lions, tigers and hyenas. Rhinoceros has a thick protective skin, but it can be quite sensitive to sunburns and insect bites, which is why they like to wallow so much. When the mud dries, it acts as protection from sunburn and insects. They can run up to 30 to 40 miles per hour. The black rhino is a herbivore and has a hooked lip which allows it to feed on trees and shrubs. Rhinos are short-sighted and bad-tempered, which makes them very dangerous. They'll charge at full force and use their horns to kill or injure what they think might be a danger or annoyance to them.
thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more fun videos. See you again soon. And now for some fun. Oh. That is good. <laughs> uh oh. remember to subscribe and like my video. Thank you. For more dinosaur videos, click the picture.